everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is JC and thank you for joining me in today's very simple tutorial on how to get into a headstand. So before you start any headstand practice, just be mindful that you should be very warmed up. Um, do maybe a few rounds of your asanas um, as well as a few rounds of sun sanitation. You want to make sure that your hamstrings are relatively stretched out. Um, you also want to make sure that your shoulders, your upper back as well as your arm area is relatively warmed up. Never do your headstand if you haven't warmed up at all as this may cause injuries in the future. So before we start the entire class, I want to show you a few different exercises that I like to do at least once a day to really train my upper back as well as my shoulders and my arms to prep myself to come into the headstand in the future. So what I will do firstly is I'll cross my arms like this, I'll just measure it onto the ground. But then I'll slowly bring my fingers to interlace and I'll bring myself to come into a dolphin pose. Just like this. So in my dolphin pose over here, I'll try and walk my feet as close as I can to my arms. And I'll just stay over here trying to push my arms backwards towards my thighs. And I'll just stay here and pause maybe for about 5 to 10 breaths. If you can stay in this pose over here for about 30 seconds, that will be ideal. Just stay in this every day, maybe do this once a day, if you can, maybe twice. Um, and this will really help to work your upper back as well as stretch out your hamstrings a little more. The few things that you need to come into an instant. The second exercise that I would like to show you is coming into your dolphin dips. So once again, in your dolphin pose over here, what I'll do is I'll dip, try and touch my chin to the floor, if that is for you. Maybe do about five rounds of this. And then just come down over here to give it up a break. This particular exercise really works a lot on your core, works a lot on your upper strength and that mobility of moving your back forward and backwards while retracting your back, okay? So after we've done all of these few exercises, let's not um, back around it too much, let's come directly into what we're here to do today and that is to come into a headstand. So to come into a headstand, firstly I would measure my arms again just like this, place it on the ground, bring my fingers to interlace. Coming to a very nice triangle, I would close up the stance a little bit, just by maybe a centimeter or two. Where my hands are cu cupped in this over here, I would place my head, the crown of my head on the floor. Be very mindful that your ears are perpendicular to the ground. So that is this part of the ear trying to be perpendicular to the ground. So it will once I move a little bit more. Okay, so once again, Place my head down and then I'll come into my tippy toes over here and I'll walk my feet as close as I can to my body, wherever that will be. Once I'm here, I'll curl one leg in. If I can, hop the other leg off. If not, just keep switching legs just like this until you're comfortable and confident. And if I can, slowly curl both feet in. And if you're here, just stay here and pause for a little while. Check your alignment, then you're contracting your back. Then your hips have rotated over. And your legs should feel very light at this point of time. Once you're here, slowly straighten up the legs if you can. Keep sucking in your belly, keep contracting your back. Pause over here. Take deep breaths. Try and make sure the pressure is not on your head or your neck. And when you're ready, slowly lower down your legs again. Bring it to your chest. We have all the way down. Rest in child's pose once you're done. For a few breaths. So just like that, that is a very simple tutorial on how to get into a headstand. It is very important of the hip rotation that you're rotating your hips as much as you can. So I'll show you one more time. Very easily, very simply. Bring your hands into a nice triangle. Crown of your head comes to the ground. Come onto your tippy toes. Walk as close as you can to your body. From here, slowly come up. Suck in your belly. The legs are very light. Your head, there's no pressure on your head or your neck. Just gonna stay in here and breathe. Some exercises in your headstand to 
Um, train your movement. Option one, come down to halfway length of your knees. And then come all the way back up with control. Option two, so open up the legs. Come into your split. Maybe bring it all the way down. Maybe touch the ground if you can. And bring it back up. Once you're done, rest in child pose. It's always important to rest in child's pose after you've done your hits then. And one thing that I recommend because in your hits then you can gain a lot of concentration and go into a meditative state. Um, maybe try and pause during your hits then for about three minutes if you can. Start off with maybe one minute and work your way towards two minutes and then three minutes. And that would be definitely ideal. Always be very mindful when you're going to your hits then that you are comfortable, that you're not feeling any discomfort and that you are feeling very well with your body. So thank you once again for joining me. My name is JT and if you like this video, please give a heads up. If you have any questions, do leave it in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you very much.